road. What the fuck? So, I have a problem with Roth. Now, I don't have a problem with Roth as a company. Just look at how many good products they make. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Everybody uses their products. Casey Neistat, Mr. Beast, and just like a bunch of other YouTubers. And me, obviously being me, I was like, what is the best microphone to use in YouTube? And so I went into Google and Googled, what is the best microphone for a beginner? And you can guess which microphone I chose, right? Video mic go. Rode video mic go. Video mic go. Video mic go. Guys, guys, it was a video mic. You know, so it began my quest to get money for my microphone. So obviously, after taking the money, after getting the money, of course, I bought it from Amazon, and it actually took quite a bit for it to arrive. But it arrived, I was super happy, you know? And then I saw it was so lightweight, it's small, you don't need a battery to actually record with it, it was great. Obviously, I hit record and I was so happy, you know, talking to the microphone, blah, 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 blah. And after I went to my computer, put on the footage in and actually saw the footage, I realized something horrible. the hell and then I thought maybe uh, maybe just maybe my microphone is faulty so I googled again and then I realized that this problem is bigger than I thought all right Sebastian so how am I supposed to work around with my microphone good question uh, at first I thought it was faulty, as I already told you, then I realized that it's actually a problem with the manufacturing of this microphone. Now, I don't know why Rode decided that this microphone would be capable to actually, you know, record the frequency of every of whatever frequencies are running around. So if you have a router or you have a Wi-Fi signal, it will pick that up, although even if the the Wi-Fi option is turned off in your camera, it will still, you know, pick up that frequency. So you know. I then uh, read around Reddit and then actually said that this cable sucks for, you know, actually recording this thing, as this cable isn't shielded against the, the RF frequencies. So then I decided to do a test, to do an experiment. Take a lot of these cables, and because you know this is cable, this kind of cable has the two lines in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I don't know. And you know, I took a lot of cables and tried to find a cable that you know actually worked with the microphone. And I got some pretty interesting results. I gotta say. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. In my room, I have a box full of cables, so I'm gonna take those cables and we're gonna use them with the microphone. Alright, let's do this. <coughs> Alright, so this is a test with the original, the original, sorry, the original Rode uh, cable. As you can guys can actually notice, there is quite a bit of static. Um, behind the thing and there's kind of this buzzing sound really weird eee, buzzing sound it's really annoying and I don't like it so let's check out the other cables <gasps> alright so this is a uh, generic you know cable uh, auxiliary cable generic audio auxiliary cable it is quite you know basic uh, but 
I'm pretty sure the Boston sound still persists, although you can actually, you know, compare the results yourself in the final video, of course, because, you know, I don't know how it sounds right now, so, you know, that is that. Alright, so this is uh, the third cable. This cable is quite small compared to the others. It's also a generic cable, but you can actually see how it sounds. It's, it actually sounds worse, I'm pretty sure about that. But, yeah, you can actually, you know, compare. As, as, as I already stated before, you can compare this to the other cables by yourself. Alright, so this is the fourth cable. This is actually an uh, insignia cable. It's a pretty cool looking cable. Auxiliary as well. Alright, so this is the fifth cable, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is actually the insignia cable. I just messed up, you know, the branding in there. I don't know how this sounds. I'll be checking it out in post. But let's see if it compares to the other cables, you know? Uh, so yeah, fifth cable, I don't know how it sounds. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, uh, yeah, cables kind of work sometimes and sometimes they don't. Uh, in this case, I think the best cable I had was a little generic one, but the issue was still present, you know? And it sucks, because it sucks, it's a great microphone, it sounds great, but I just cannot use this in a day-to-day -day basis, because, you know, it's unreliable. So, you know, Rode fixed this thing. Um, another thing I read on the internet was to actually buy the official new Rode cable. The, it's called the SC2 cable. It's quite expensive for just a cable, but you can buy that if you're into that, you know. I've also seen some videos about uh, putting al aluminum, al aluminum, aluminum, sorry, foil in the cable, and I did that uh, like a couple of weeks ago, and it actually worked, uh, kind of worked, but you know it's still unreliable. You can, you guys can try it yourself with the aluminum foil, but I don't think it'll work. All right, so although I did have a, pro a lot of problems with this microphone. I sent, uh, uh, you know, a kind of a email to Road, and I just wrote all of this. You can read it if you want to pause it. And I actually sent them a video, you know, showing the problem. And they told me that, unfortunately, that does sound like RF interference. We're happy to swap out the mic for you. If you will be in an environment near a router, you may want to consider using the video micro, all right? That mic has a metal body and will block RF better. Please let us know if you want to ship it in for replacement. So, of course, of course I did, you know, tell them that I want to ship them for replacements. You know, good job, Road. Your customer support is great, but fix your microphone because it's, it's pretty bad. By the way guys, if you guys don't know what microphone I am using right now, it is a Taxstar SGC598. It's pretty cheap, like a third of the price from uh, the Miro Mic Go, so you know that's pretty unexpected. But the only you know disadvantage is you have to use a battery to you know power the microphone on, so no. Yeah. <laughs> 